We are super excited to show you the best box van build we've ever seen. If you're here for van life, box truck living, then this video is for you. Before we dive into this tour, let's give a word of thanks to our sponsor, Skillshare. Moritz and I have been watching videos on indoor gardening because as you might know, we've struggled with caring for plants in our tiny home. Our favorite class so far has been Ikta Chowdhury's indoor gardening, growing houseplants, veggies, and herbs because of how fun she is, but also because we learned how to better take care of Marge, our only plant left. Our friends and family already love Skillshare because of its online learning community and thousands of inspiring classes. We love that Skillshare is ad-free so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills and that new premium classes are launched each week, so there's always something new to discover. There's nothing better than investing in yourself for personal growth, especially when you're able to do it with other people you love. The first 1,000 people to click the link in our description below will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. So, ready, set? Box <laughs> This van, we spotted from like afar because this was Moritz's. Whoa, what are you doing back there? <laughs> uh, that was Moritz's dream van. Um, but we found lovely Sawyer, Courtney, and Box Truck Living yeah. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> and they've agreed to give all of us a tour of their place. So why don't we get started? Yeah. So this is our home and truck, Elfie is what we named her. We have four propane tanks um, for like barbecue style. So 60 pounds total. And here is our water heater and a little tool shed. We'll show you guys the inside then. I spot a friend. <laughs> That's Mew Mew. Mew Mew. Wow, it is so spacious in here. Yeah, we went for an open concept <laughs> tiny house. So it's 128 square feet, 16 by 8. We step into the hallway, bathroom on your left, kitchen in the middle, and then living room at the end. And bed the bed lowers down. down and mm -hmm. sort of sits on top of the couch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to switch it to the bedroom space. Yeah. How long did it take you guys to build this? Uh, over two years. Yeah, it um, was a lot. And that was sort of off and on in between um, odd jobs. So I'm like a carpenter by trade, and in between like chicken coops and that sort of thing, I'd be working on the truck. I do like social work type stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we're living full time full now. Full time. Yeah. We're just wrapping up our second month. Mm -hmm. um, Brand new. And loving it. <laughs> yeah, trying to figure out how to make money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, <Yeah. laughs> so right now we're just off saving, so. YouTube. <laughs> there you go, right? Your bed, is it like a, a lowering bed? Is that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, so it was a storage hoist on Amazon. It was like $200 for this four by four lift. Um, and I sort of cut it into pieces and spread it out so that it could be the size of a, a bed. The so so we, we, don't, we don't crank it. <laughs> Hand cranking no. takes way too so long. So we, we can put it up and down in like 30 seconds. With yeah, this. it's not bad. Um, so we met in college mm -hmm. and we were dreaming about it like the whole time we kind of I think known right each when other. We started dating. Yeah. I ended up in a room in our house that was like 10 by 10 or 8 so by 8, small. something like It was really small. <laughs> and living in there for a whole year, no problem. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, if I can make this work, I can make it work in pretty places, no problem. Um, yeah. So yeah, and we were living in a pretty small, uh, like studio, studio sort of, of thing. Bu building. Yeah. yeah. If you had one or two pieces mm -hmm. of advice for people who are thinking about this and they're stuck, what would you tell them? Always be on Craigslist. <laughs> Because the right opportunity can be very inspiring. You know, if you find the right vehicle for you, like don't be afraid to jump on it. Because this, we were looking for months and months and this mm -hmm. popped up 10 miles away and we're like, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's time, let's do it. Don't, yeah. don't be afraid to try. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's worth it. So we got the truck for 3,500. Um, what? 
<laughs> yeah. 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 Well, so that's what I'm Super saying. Always cheap. be on yeah. Craigslist. When it comes, yeah. it, you'll know. <laughs> we haven't had any problems with her. Which yeah. Is good. So she has awesome. 200, 247,000 miles when we got it. But it's a but diesel. But it's, it's a turbo diesel engine. Yeah. So we've been told by. It's got millions. That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a million mile motor and it's been a. She's been a great like mm -hmm. champ for 3,000 ish miles that we've done. Earth. Total, it would be in the realm of like 12 to 15,000, I think. Yeah. 12 to 15,000. Okay, so yeah. Like the like... entire build with the truck included. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So we have uh, 885 watts uh, on the roof, and then we have 330 amp hours on a lithium battery. Fortunately, a friend of mine from high school is very knowledgeable and builds battery banks. Um, so he repurposed our cells out of a total BMW. Oh. So we have sports car batteries, which we think yeah, is, is pretty cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, again, on Craigslist, we got $150 each for the panels, and they were 275 watts. 30 minutes a day on Craigslist. I did it for two years straight. Yeah. I was always on Craigslist. Yeah. So we have... 45 gallons of water. This section, they're like fake drawers. So it's like a flat tank along there that's the full width of the counter. The counter sort of built around that. It was an Amazon tank. And then it just drains to a five gallon bucket that we kind of huck. Um, we as, have a gray water we tank, we just haven't set it up yet. Yeah, the plumbing ended <laughs> yeah. up slightly askew and I could not figure it out for the life of me. So we're just putting in a bucket. It works. And it's, it's been working good for us. Yeah. Um, all of it was sort of handmade, didn't really get anything pre-made. I reclaimed all of this um, yellow colored wood from my grandma's property. I tore down a building for her because she was building a new house there. So all of that was reclaimed um, studs. And it's like, I love seeing like the nail holes and everything. It's just, when it has a, a story before um, I get to it, it's really fun. This flooring was the original tie down straps because it was like a moving truck. They had like the tie down boards around the sides. So that was here, came with the truck. All of our window trim and like the door trim behind you was the original floor that I ripped out. And for some reason, I don't know, it's like exotic. It's so pretty. Butcher block. <laughs> um, gorgeous, when I cut into it and saw the color coming out of my saw, I'm like, what is this? Yeah, Because it was so like nice. so scuffed up and messed up. Uh, so that was really exciting. Really like our bathroom door. Mm -hmm. This came from one of my coworkers. She had a barn that they were gonna tear down on their property, and it was like from the 1800s. So that was what that came from. That which was super fun. And it's kind of like. <laughs> and there's like that's a good example of like the nail holes in the board. You can really see the color because like the water makes the the black bleed out, and I just love that effect. I can like stretch out a full oh, arm yeah. here. Yeah, it's been great for us. I mean, that's like really like my favorite thing to do is just like revitalize like the story of the boards. Cause you look at like, it's on the side of the highway and it's gray and falling apart and you cut into it and it's this again. And it's just, it's like my favorite thing to do is to just bring it back to life. <laughs> so we're supposed to go back to Tahoe, but they have over two feet of snow at, <laughs> at my parents' house right now. Um, so we think, <laughs> we think we might be staying down here a little bit longer. I go to the Skloopalooza, is yeah. that what it's called? Oh yeah, yeah. We've got right. some recommendations for that, so we might head that way. Yeah, Courtney also let us know that uh, we, we helped oh. her out with the insurance. It's so <laughs> true, insurance is a pain in the ass, so thanks guys. <laughs> She's like, I think I watched one of your videos. And I'm like, oh well, it's happening, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember how much of it transferred over, but I do remember it just feeling really nice that like, oh, you guys were able to figure it out. So that means we can too, because it was so stressful. If you could go back, would you still choose a box truck or would you go Sprinter? <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, we would love a Sprinter, but we just could never afford one, yeah. <laughs> at least not in the time I personally that we love the box truck, though. Yeah. We're so tall and, like, yeah. <laughs> like, that's so nice. There's a lot of benefit that yeah. we really enjoy about it. Having the amount of glass and the double pane has been, like, really nice, because it, it gets mm -hmm. real cozy in here when we run the heater. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so two months on the road, about 3,000 miles. Haven't broken yet. Pretty sketchy roads. <laughs> yeah, because well, this, isn't, this isn't the first bumpy road that we've been on, and they've mm -hmm. been totally fine. Yeah. Um, that is something that like we were nervous about. Okay. It's like three-quarter inch plywood that's like laminated both sides with fiberglass. 
Oh. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because this, I was like, how did you guys install these windows on oh, a yeah. aluminum box? That yeah. was one of the things that like made me, I was like, oh, if it's just wood siding, that's what a house is. Why right. can't yeah. I put in a house window? Yeah. Um, and then I built out a, a two by three stud wall yeah. mm -hmm. inside the whole box mm. to insulate. So it ended up being, it's like seven and a half wide or something between the walls. Oops. The total length is about 23 and a half. Uh -huh. uh, and parking has been good. We always just sort of like, if we're going to the grocery store, we'll pull up like satellite instead of just like going there off maps, you know, and like, oh, that looks like there's, cause we need two. We'll do like a pull through spot and we take up both spaces. Um, but it's plenty nimble in parking lots and that sort of thing. Uh -huh. There have been like a few like, oh, we want to get out and walk around this small town that we just happen to be going through. And it's like, we can't find spaces there. And like, there've been a few things like that. We're like, well, this isn't working out, but yeah. 80 to 90% of the time, like it hasn't been a problem. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we're excited about that. Cause we were kind of nervous about that in the beginning. It might um, be different if we were more in the city, but since yeah. we're not really We don't really go very urban. That, <laughs> we're fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you gotta like maximize the 80 and just forget about the 20, just like mm -hmm. deal totally. with it. Totally, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Awesome, well thank you guys so yeah. much. Yeah, no problem. Out. <laughs> yeah, and oh, if you wanna find you, where should they check? Uh, Box Trek Living mm -hmm. on Instagram. On Instagram. <laughs> Yay, all right, thank you. You're welcome. Well, we hope you enjoyed coming along with us on that van tour and kind of seeing us in action along the way. Yeah, this was super interesting because when we started out, we had this exact model in our mind. Like I was looking up Isuzu, I was looking up Fuso and thought, yeah, this, this would be a really cool one to convert into a, a camper van. Uh, now that we've seen it, yes, it is actually really cool, but also, I think with our van, we did the right choice, not going that big. We do recommend box truck living because of how affordable it is. And because of all the space, we have like a wide margin of error that like pro masters and sprinters don't offer because you have to squeeze a lot more into like a rounded smaller space. Well, let us know in the comments what you like best about their vehicle. Or if you have any questions about their build, we'll get them to get back to you. Also make sure to check them out on Instagram and then we'll see you on the road to pitches. Goodbye. See ya.